So guys, what, what are we doing with these videos? Well, you and I are gonna talk about circuit breakers. And we're gonna talk about something a lot more exciting than that, but we're gonna talk about contactors. Well, I got fuses, as in you guys know all about fuses. We protect circuit breakers and contactors all the time. Whoa, this is not a competition. You mean like the overcurrent protected device games? games? This is Jerry Ampere coming to you live from the Eaton Experience Center Sportsplex in Warrendale, Pennsylvania at the first ever Overcurrent Protective Device Games. Let's go check in with the competitors. Tom, how do you feel about today's final event? Well, Jerry, we've been hanging in there and we feel really comfortable that we're going to close this deal. I mean, come on, we're the fastest thing on the track. Fustron is going to bring home the trophy. Our strategy today is going to be to sit and wait for the opportunity and leverage our speed to bring home the win. You know, just like in the earlier events where Limitron and Low Peak outperformed, in my opinion, any of the competitors, Fusetron is going to bring home the win for our whole family of fuses. Jerry, I will see you at the finish line. Up next, let's talk to Dan about his family of circuit breakers. Dan, Tom sounded pretty confident about the fuses. What's your strategy for the final race? Here's the thing, Jerry. We have some secret weapons that none of these other competitors can bring to the table. Our arm switch or arc flash reduction maintenance system is like a turbo button that we can engage at any time if we need it. We've decided to pull out all the stops and bring out our new line of power defense breakers with our advanced PXR trip units. Nobody else has our advanced algorithms that allow us to monitor the breaker health status during the entire race. We can monitor that from here or even engage arms from the sidelines as well. Well, good luck. Sounds intriguing. Eric, you're somewhat of an underdog in this race because you're really not like either of our other two competitors. What do you bring to the race that makes you confident that you can win? You certainly have a lot of energy. Jerry, you may be right about that, but don't rule us out, buddy. We may not have the extremely high interrupting capabilities all by ourselves, but you'll be amazed at the things that we can do when you throw a C445 on our back. Just like the other events that we had, we don't think about our competitors. When we got a job to do, we will do it and we won't stop until it's done. When it comes to endurance, we got them all beat. Our strategy is to mess with their heads. Even though we typically work together to get things done, we're the ones that do the work all day long. Take the fuse, for example. He sits there and does nothing and waits for an opportunity to do something. The breaker? Well, he only wishes he could operate as many times as we do. So like I said before, Jerry, don't rule us out. Well, I guess you told me, Eric. I look forward to seeing you execute your strategy. Let's do this. Don't forget to use arms when you need it. All right, you know the strategy. You're the fastest thing on this track. Don't listen to anybody. Just listen to that inner fuse element. Okay, now don't forget what we said about the fault region. And remember, you have fun out there. Open, close, open. Close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open. Well, everyone, it looks like we have a great competition lined up for today. And I will see all of you at the finish line. On your mark, get set. And they're on. Wait a minute, where is the contactor going? As you can see from this overhead map graphic, the race course is broken down into three areas. The course starts in the overload area then transitions to motor starting and transformer inrush, finally finishing with short circuits and faults. Okay, it looks like the contactor has finally straightened himself out, and look at him flying past the fuse, and now the breaker. But you know the breaker is looking pretty steady. I wonder when he'll kick in arms. Your health looks great. Keep up the pace for the rest of the race. Well, now it looks like the contactor is stuck in the faults region and the fuse still doesn't seem to be in a hurry. You're gonna lose, fuse! All right, they're almost at the fault region. It's been great knowing you, bud, but you gotta go. Remember, you're doing this for safety. Now this is getting exciting. The breaker just switched on arms, closing in on the finish line, and, and wait a minute, what is the contactor doing? Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a finish that was. Now let's talk to our competitors to see what their thoughts are on the results of the OCPD games. So Jerry, this just goes to show you that the referee needs a set of glasses. 
Fuse John was in his element today. He did a heck of a job representing the Fuse family well. Yeah, Tom, you know, I was impressed. I really was. He really did give his all. Now over to Dan. Man, I don't even know where that fuse came from. I didn't see him the whole race, but he sure as heck finished with us. We were monitoring the breaker the whole time, and when we kicked in arms, it made all the difference. And would somebody please tie down that contactor? I mean, come on, I don't mind helping him out, but he just doesn't stop. Now let's go to Eric and see what he has to say about that wild finish. So Eric, what was that all about? Well, Jerry, a contactor can't clear a major fault all on its own, so that's why we always work with one of these two devices anyway to get the job done. That race was so much fun. Can we do the whole thing again? Maybe we'll team up with the fuse this time. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Sounds good. Limitron's ready to go. All right, folks, I guess that says it all. What a great competition we had today. It really goes to show you that all these products work together to get it done. Not a single one of them is better than the other. It's teamwork that makes the dream come true. Open, close, open, close. Would somebody shut him up? Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close.